Okay, right over here, this is from Ali London. Oh, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. It says plus size influencer has meltdown after airport worker refused to push her in a wheelchair out of the plane due to her size. How big is this lady? Holy crap. How big is this woman? Jalen Cheney, who uses, of course, who uses her, pro, uh, she, her pronouns in her bio and regularly posts TikTok videos complaining about the size of seats on, is it that fat lady that like basically says, that, oh, I should get an extra seat for free of, because my ass cheeks are too big. Oh my God. I, it, oh my God, dude. Uh, complaining about her size on seats on planes because she was discriminated discriminated against when an airport worker refused to wheel her out to the plane. I'm surprised that the plane was able to take off. The influencer alleged an employee at Seattle SeaTac Airport refused to help her. As I approached her and she realized she's being uh, assisting me, not one smaller passengers, she started to walk away with the wheelchair while making some comments about my size. Oh my God, a, I think that's the same big woman. Despite being able to walk, the influencer claimed she nearly fainted after being forced to walk through the airport. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. She probably took two steps like, oh, fuck. I'm a oh, shit, man. I'm starting to sweat. I guess I'm going to thigh sweat. Uh, by the time she let me reach the wheelchair and sit down, my lips were white, my oxygen levels had dropped, and I almost fainted. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you're fucking fat as fuck. Oh my, oh my god, this thing is like fucking job of the hut. Holy shit. This discrimination, nobody should be treated this way. <laughs> Wait, there's a video. There's a video. Hold up, hold up. My ordeal at SeaTac Airport will shock you. This experience I'm about to share with you is yet another example of why employee sensitivity. Training, a demand outlined in the plus size travel petition is desperately needed. Okay. I guarantee the reason why, the reason why she had to use an AI voice is because this is how she's going to sound like, <sighs> my ordeal at SeaTac uh, Airport will shock you. <sighs> Is this thing even on? Oh my god. This experience I'm about to share with you is yet another example why employee sensitivity training. God damn, I'm so fat. Oh man, is the AC on? Holy shit. Demand outline in the plus size travel petition. It's definitely, des desperately needed. Why did you say her name? Where is she? Oh God, I'm so tired. Uh, that's probably how she sounds. That's why she has to use an AI voice is because she's. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna die, man. She actually talked. She actually did the entire minute and twenty-one second video. She will probably pass out and die. All right, let's continue. I'm a plus size wheelchair user and on a recent flight to the SeaTac airport. I requested wheelchair assistance as I always do. When of course, because heaven forbid you exercise just even once. Okay, here's the thing. We do have people who are fat fuckers and chubby chasers, right? Let's just get it. Let's get that out. Get that shit out of the way. You get people who are into fat people. OK, I'm not kink shaming you, but the thing is that if you are purposely letting yourself get this fat. Your life expectancy will probably be cut by more than half. And that's the reason why you don't see fat people in nursing homes, like extremely obese. Like this is like abundantly obese. Like she feels like I feel like she's going to die in the next like month or two. I'm, look, I want people to be healthy and happy. But this is just ridiculous, man. Holy crap. When it came time for me to deplane, I saw the employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me in the entry of the jet bridge. As I approached her and she realized she'd be assisting me and not one of the smaller passengers, she started to walk away with the wheelchair while making comments about my size. Even when I told her I... What's the sad, like, fucking music? 
<laughs> it's like it sounds like fucking Lion King shit. Like, it is time. She fucking holds up a fucking drumstick. I'm sorry. Let's continue. I really needed the chair and needed her to let me sit down in it. She blatantly ignored me and kept walking. I was then forced to walk up one of the longest jet bridges I've encountered and she didn't stop. <laughs> By the time she let me reach the wheelchair and sit down my lips were white. My oxygen levels had dropped and I almost fainted. This was my first time flying without oxygen. This woman- She- I would say this is probably the first time she's walked in those, such a long time. She probably- I guarantee you she probably took like eight to like 20 steps. Eight to 20 steps and she's like, oh my god. This is how it feels like to be a normal person? Off. Oh, ain't, uh, ain't no way. Fuck that shit. Give me that damn wheelchair, man. Holy crap. I, I guarantee that when she watched the Wally, she was like, this is the dream. I could be fat and mobile at the same time. That's awesome. Like, I guarantee that she would literally lift up her breast to wipe away the sweat. I'm pretty, because I'm sure fat people do this. And she definitely needs an oxygen tank just to like talk. Like, and that's the reason why she's using AI. Just assumed I could walk and would rather me do that. Instead of her having to push someone my size up the jet bridge, all the other attendants wheeled their passengers up the jet bridge, but my needs were disregarded. This is discrimination. Nobody should be treated this way. Share your story at change.org plus shit. size travel. Oh man. Holy crap. The audacity of this person. Oh my god. Oh my god. So over here, so so I yeah, I think she's the same person that talked about how she needs an she needs an extra seat for free because her ass cheeks are too fucking big and her fucking giant fucking arm is going to be touching another person. Okay. I wonder if this is her. Oh yeah, this is her. Absolutely. Plus size Airline passengers demanding extra free seat device the internet. The plus size traveler. So this is from this is from last year. Plus size traveler has divided opinion after she's uh, she should ha not have forced to buy two airline seats because of her size. A plus size traveler blogger, yep, Jalen Cheney from Vancouver, Washington, uh, has long advocated for better flying conditions for plus size people. She started a change.org pe a petition to encourage the Federal Aviation Administration to alter its policies. More than 41% of the U.S. population is obese, according to the CDC. Uh, airlines have varying policies for customers of size. These include requiring them to pay an, a, for a second seat. And if they can't lower the armrest due to their size or fit comfortably into the seat, some policies allow passengers to get a refund on a second ticket if at least one seat is available on the flight after takeoff. Air travel should be comfortable. I think she's got even more fat. I think she's gotten even more fat. And accessible for everyone regardless of size. No. You know for roller coasters, like you can't go on the fucking roller coasters if you're too fucking fat. All right. But but oh no, heaven forbid you work out and then you complain your ass all the way to fucking corporate, and then they're like, oh, we gotta adhere to the fat fucks that comes in the park. So we gotta make extra large seats for her. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh man. Uh and my, okay, so it's my partner and I uh, unfortunately experienced discrimination and discomfort while flying. Oh, geez. So here's the thing. Uh, when I traveled the first time with my son, uh, we, we, took, uh, we took a flight from, from uh, what's it called again? Las Vegas to, to Virginia. And the thing is that, like, like I was okay paying for a, an additional seat to be more comfortable, right, for my son, right? So you have three seats. My son can sit in the middle, my wife and, and I can sit up beside him, and we are willing to shell out the additional however much money so he can be comfortable on the flight. This lady should be able to do that, but the thing is that this fat fuck is like, uh, I'm not paying another hundred fifty dollars to go on a freaking uh, uh you know, go on a flight where my ass cheeks don't even fit when they put the armrest down. That's stupid. Hey, that's a discrimination. Oh my god, dude. 
And now she's complaining that she walked and got exercise. Def you were definitely not going to make it, man. We're absolutely not going to make it. Holy crap.